Hi. So this is a video that I'm wanting to share with all the potential new mud flood uh, uh, timeline uh, rewrite uh, friends that I am anticipating to meet um, who clearly have are way ahead of me and have been researching this um, for a few years. But I really want to share something I have found, um, which I think is really uh, possibly helpful. Because, you know, we're, uh, I've noticed some individuals that are looking at this um, mud flood event, and they're asking the question, is it a cyclical event? And I've made a couple videos already. Um, and coming from, you know, my... Uh, you know, I, I'm uh, looking at it from the Bible. So right away, I noticed this and it twigged in me. The Bible has this peculiar internal language where it refers to times, seven times, three and a half times. And then I, I picked up on, you know, we're believing that perhaps 500 years ago ish, there was an event. And so then I went, huh, okay. In the Bible, there's a lot of 400-year periods, and I, but I've never taken time to look at it very particular, but I have found something. Okay, so from, okay, so after Adam, you know, there is the Enoch, and Enoch lived about 365 years and he was taken okay an event happened that had Enoch taken and then between Enoch and Noah I do believe is about 400 years okay and then from Noah to Abraham is about 400 years and then Abraham was given a promise that this covenant was made and his descendants would come out of Egypt in about 400 years. Okay? Okay, you see the pattern? <laughs> and then Israel gets the, the promised land, you know, 400 years after this promise was given to Abraham. And then... Their first system of governance that's mentioned in the, is, is in the Old Testament is that there were these judges that helped uh, maintain peace. And there's not very much information. But guess what? How long the judges, that's is about 400 years before they started having kings. Okay? Yeah. Getting more and more interesting. And then guess what? Between the Old Testament and the New Testament is about 400 years. Okay, that's a pattern. That's a cyclical pattern. I am so freaking excited about this. Okay, so then what I want to hypothesize here is that there was a cataclysm event when Jesus was born. The star that the Bible says, you know, the, that the Magi's followed actually was another one of these cataclysms. And then what happened, hypothetically, is the, the, the reach and the influence of this positive message, this transformational uh, 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 story of building a society rooted in love, which we'll call the kingdom of God, actually maybe went way out, way broader, way farther okay, and is, is um, uh, then another cataclysm hit about, you know, say 400 years after that, that would line up, but then that event, I'm, I'm suggesting, is, was prophesied in the book of Revelation, and all the language there about the star falling from heaven and all of that, is prophesied there and then uh, this more negative this more negative group because I think this has been going on for a long time 
was able to gain the advantage and because they oh they were really you know starting to fall back so they really clamped down hard and that's why they worked so hard to hide from us the truth changing the the narrative but then so now if we agree that they've added a thousand years then if it is a cyclical pattern of about 400 years give or take it's probably not that precise you know it, if, it's a, if it's an actual you know astronomical debris field we go through you know there might be a range of 40 years give or take because just so you know the bible gives 360 as the measurement of a time so that's important okay but then it also talks about uh times times and half a time so it mentions half time now why is this significant so say a full time is about every 400 years and then that would bring the next cyclical event in 1800s or the year 800 which we know lines up we all agree that there's a lot of mystery around the mid 1800s okay okay so then if we look at the half of a time what's 800 plus a half a time what would that be 360 would be 180 yeah I haven't even done the math on that I'd have to so then that would bring us so if it was say if it was 200 years if it was four that would bring us to the year 2000 or like right now like right now that would be a half a time so is the Bible giving us a clue with these times times and half a time and that because it says that Jesus was cut off at the half of the week so could it be that there is this smaller event that happens intermittently with the larger cataclysm and we are coming up on that one we're coming up on that one and that that that's like wow so i hope that i hope some of you out there that are really taking this serious i can share this video with you and um and we can talk because i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for having taken the time to make your channels because they have really man put some wind in my sails because i have been studying this in a very from a very isolated uh, perspective and really uh just knowing sensing feeling in my fiber that there was something big that was staring me right in the face that i couldn't put my finger on but i could really tell i was close and i think it's time i think it's all time and we're meant to know this so we can take charge of this moment and take charge take charge of the reset and use it as a time to purge the wicked evil cult cannibals because i know i know how real it is because of my personal life experience of having been friends with a woman who was used and taken into satanism when she was but two until she didn't get free until she was about 16 years old okay and she was groomed to be a high priestess i know how real it is and she told me she never told me names because i told her i never wanted to know the gory details but she told me and she looked me in the eyes when she would tell me let me tell you that the intense this woman was intense and she told me the highest people in power on earth are part of it the highest she said the highest you can think of and i know she told me the truth but we have evidence to figure it out and empower ourselves and i think that's the most important thing we can do right now so thank you and i'm looking forward to meeting all of you and working out this great mystery with all these pieces of the puzzle and we're going to bring them together and shine 
the light on what we're capable of being and what is possible on this earth and how beautiful it really can be. Thank you.